Hey guys and welcome to JTEC WP. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a YouTube video playlist to your Elementor website. If you find this tutorial helpful please check out my online courses. I've got web design, video production and filming courses. Links are in the description below. Let's go. I've created a section for our widget to go in. I just do a search for playlist and it's this one here, video playlist. Drag this into our section and it comes populated with some demo content. So here's our playlist items. I'm going to delete the first two because I don't want those in there. So you can go to your YouTube channel, pick your video. I want this one here. And then we can either copy the share link or you can copy this URL up here. And then we just go where it's a sample video. Command A or Control A on PC, delete that. Paste in your URL. So it should add your video in. And then we can press get video data and it'll pull all the information from YouTube like title and duration. So we should, we should see it change there. I think it's supposed to upload a thumbnail from the YouTube one, but it doesn't seem to have done it here. So if you want to upload your own custom one, delete this one, choose an image. Then you can upload your own image. I'm going to use this one, insert media. And there we go, your thumbnails in. We can also add extra content by going to content tabs where it's hidden, open that. You can have extra tabs with more content in. So you could put a video description in here, paste in my content in here. And we can see there that's appearing. We can adjust the titles in here. So tab one, we could give that a different name. So you could call it description. And your second tab, you give that whatever name you want on that. You can add an image overlay if you wanted to. I can choose our overlay image. I'm just gonna go with this one for now. You could have a different one if you wanted to. There's our image. And we could also set what icon we have on top of it. So I could have a little arrow like that, or I could find the play symbol or use a custom play one like one of these. Insert that additional options. So you can set things like autoplay, show the video count, show the duration. So the thumbnails, I set the play icons here, add lazy load in the style. We can adjust all the different colors like the width and the height to style the playlist. We want to go into top bar. We can set our background color. So I'll go for a black to make it match, put some white text in and set your place items. Go into videos. We can set our background again. I'm going to make that black or I can make it slightly, slight different shade just so it stands out a little bit from the title. We can set the duration. So that maybe to like a YouTube red. We can set the icon color, which is just a little bit here. Maybe a white, yeah, I think a white works pretty well. So you can play around with that till you get it how you want it. I'm just going to add a few more videos now into our content. So I can just go add item, paste in some more videos, get video data. And there we go. It's actually bringing in the thumbnail this time, which is good. That's what it's supposed to do. Add another item. So you can just keep going like this, get video data. And it's now bringing in the thumbnails each time. Add one more final one in get video data, press update, and let's have a look at our page in the browser. All right, so that's working pretty good. Well, that's it guys, thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you on the next one.